I am Dr. Sharmi Lam, Consultant Pediatrician at Apollo Cradle. I take this opportunity to tell you a few things about breastfeeding. Why I chose this time is because the August 1st to 7th of every year is breastfeeding week. And then why did this have to evolve this way is because breastfeeding has so much impact not just on the health of the mother and the baby but it has been found out that it has an impact on the global economy environment and everything it will be surprising for you to know this but this is the fact and this year 2017 the theme for world breastfeeding week is sustaining breastfeeding together the meaning when we say together that itself explains a lot about why we have this breastfeeding week the reason being for a mother to successfully breastfeed her child it's not just information and the presence of the mother and the child but it is there is a lot of importance for support around her to enable her to initiate the breastfeeding and more importantly sustain breastfeeding till the end of 6 months exclusive breastfeeding till the end of 6 months and then supplemental breastfeeding later on so who are these people who are important in this chain of events that lead to successful breastfeeding the mother obviously and then the people around her the first important people are her immediate family then comes the role of community and then the healthcare system that is around her, where she delivered, where she's going to go back for her lactation advice. And then it comes to the government, the legislation, the workplace, where they return to work, because most of the mothers are working these days. And this is the whole cycle that influences whether the mother can successfully breastfeed, sustain the breastfeeding, and do it successfully this is the reason why this year the emphasis is on the support group too right now i think mothers have a lot of information on web they're reading about it they're very open very enthusiastic about breastfeeding but still there is failure of lactation in a couple of mothers this is because of improper information seepage people around her the wrong advice being given and no proper workplace environment where she can successfully continue to breastfeed and the, the emphasis right now on this to recruit everyone make legislations to empower a woman to successfully breastfeed have a lactation room have a place where they can store their pumped milk and all these things come in later so this is the reason why the emphasis is on the support groups. Why is there so much noise about breastfeeding? Why should there be a week dedicated to it? Why should the whole world, the governments, the countries be committed to it? it, it it's the most natural thing that a mother and baby would be doing. Then why all this noise? The reason being breastfeeding is after hand washing known to be one of the simplest natural intervention preventing a lot of diseases in the newborn and promoting health of every child not just in the first six months but forever and the impact it has on economy the healthcare cost it cuts down and the impact it has on the environment is immense and this is going to stay so this is the reason why there is so much noise Okay, I mean, I think already most of us know the benefits of breastfeeding, why you should breastfeed your child, right from uh, the high IQ that is claimed for breastfed babies, a little higher IQ, to prevention of infection and growth of the brain and every other organ, very proper way. And I, I mean, I keep telling most of my patients that mother's milk is for the baby, cow's milk is for its baby. So, nature itself has formulated the best possible composition for the growth of the baby and has given it naturally. So, why should you look elsewhere at all? 
this is the simplest thing that you have to recognize and yes having said all this is it so natural is it so easy to be successful in breastfeeding no it is not why because there are alternatives there are alternatives and there is no proper breastfeeding advice the mother gets in fact the advice should start antenatally even before you deliver you are preparing yourself to lactate and how do you do it to get your breasts examined get your nipples checked if there is a doubt of a flat nipple or an inverted nipple prepare the breast to breastfeed even before you deliver that is the time when you can intervene not after the baby is born this is one of the most common causes for la failure to lactate and after once you deliver you latch on the baby immediately let the first feed be the mummy's feed whether you deliver vaginally or by a c section it doesn't matter the baby can sleep on you on the breast and then suck at you even if you are unable to turn around also take help and start breastfeeding on day 1 hour 1 that is very important once the baby latches on that is the most difficult part that most first time mothers encounter the job is done once the baby latches on believe me it's more difficult to unlatch the baby from the breast at the end of one year and this is the key to successful breastfeeding after this whenever there is a problem about breastfeeding take help take advice from experts your pediatrician your lactation consultant and then come back often to the doctor to find out where you're going wrong or are you on the proper track and then confidence is the key to breastfeed and that you will not get just like that if you have information and if you have support let the family also attend the lactation consultation things because these are the people who are there with you for the rest of the 23 hours one hour you're with the doctor and the lactation consultant but successfully breastfeeding happens only if all this information that you know is being reinforced again back home and not negated so the support systems are very important involve the family into the lactation classes lactation consultations and that will go far in successfully breastfeeding